Hey everybody, we're back here on the sand in Winchester Bay and kind of met somebody with a special car. This is Justin and this is his Can-Am Maverick Sport. Let's get into it. We uh, decided to buy a side-by-side -side and build it. We got a 2022 Can-Am Maverick Sport. Didn't really know what we wanted to do, so we decided to build it as big as we possibly could and go out and have some fun with it. And now, here we are. We have the idea of building a big car. I've been obsessed with these things for years. Uh, I reached out to Super ATV, talked to them about their portal axles, made a few other phone calls to Raceline Wheels. Uh, and everything started coming together pretty well. The great TV sent us uh, front control arms, portal axles, six inch that we put on it. I wanted to go bigger, but they didn't have them at the time. And then of course we finished off the front nose of it with some 22 by seven crank XL race lines, and then put the Super ATV Terminator Maxes on. So we had that look of the actual mud bog type side by side. We went into lighting for our machine. Uh, we've been was rigid industry since they were built in the garage, so that was our first choice and our only choice to go with lighting. So we added the new rigid industries uh, LED mirrors. We put the 360 backlits on the front. Of course, we've got all the A series underneath. Uh, really, the best lighting that we have. We've been having a good time with it, making sure everybody's staying safe and staying lit up at night. And uh, wouldn't wouldn't choose any other light but rigid, and that's what will always be on our cars. So when we brought this thing home, uh, we couldn't use a factory cage because it just didn't look right. I reached out to my guys at uh, WCI Off-Road, approached them about building a custom cage for it. They said, yeah, no problem, bring it in, it's a Maverick, we got you. I show up with the Maverick Sport and the look on the face was priceless because they've never built one before. But in the end result, they did exactly what I wanted. The cage turned out amazing. And now I know when this thing finally does go on its top, I'm going to be safe and my cage ain't going to collapse. So of course we wanted to have uh, some tunes in her, so I reached out to the guys at Brad's Cartoons in Springfield, Eugene, Oregon. Uh, talked to them about what my thought process was. They reached out to Kicker Car Audio and they both came on board to make sure that the whole back of our side-by-side -side was nice and loud. Uh, sounds amazing. They did a outstanding job on the install. Kicker sent us uh, a nice set of their 12 inch comps. Uh, they're a good sounding sub. They do it with the, the media center that is basically marine grade, uh, full digital screen. You can see everything you're doing. It all mirrors your phone. Uh, we have an 800 watt amp driving the subs. We have a 1200 watt amp that's a uh, six channel that's driving the eight inch tower speakers that we put in, uh, two facing forward, two facing backwards. We pretty much kept with a full stock motor. We haven't changed anything on it yet, but that's soon to come. We're gonna do a little upgrades on the exhaust. Uh, we're gonna talk with Trio Performance and do that. Went with 5150, they're hyper red lights. Because everything we have on this thing is, is red uh, lighting and whole nine yards. So we went with the rigid chase bar on the back. Um, the thing's got more configurations and more triggers that I know what to do with, but we have it set to what I can figure out at the moment. One of these days I'll have to figure out how to do more, but it's definitely a badass little addition. Uh, we have the, the wing was added on also. It's also an availability from WCI. So you can have a little sport look to the back of your car. Uh, we put the 5150s on and just pretty much made everything as clean as we possibly could to wrap the ass into this car up to make it look good when we're driving around. We can't really see anything out the back of this thing because it's all blocked up, so we added the SRL series backup lights underneath the tail so we can turn on the rigid lights and still back up and be able to see everything and don't run anybody over. The only seat that I would go with was HSP Hunter Safety Products. Uh, they make a really nice seat. So we custom made a set of seats for this. Linked in the Rugged Radios headsets with the full comm system, full intercom, the whole nine yard. They sent us out for the car, so now we've got good communication with everybody, car to car and in car. And then finalized everything off with all of our lighting with a Switch Pros module to where 
Uh, I don't have any issues with my lights. You also, you download the Bluetooth app so you can monitor everything on your phone. It monitors voltage drop, monitors, monitors everything you need to know. Um, it just it just works. It works really well, and they came out with a very superior product to everybody else. This is Justin Rainwater. I uh, appreciate you guys checking out my 2022 Can-Am Maverick Sport, and I uh, look forward to seeing you guys soon, somewhere on a trail or out in the dunes, or eventually we'll be in the mud.